Grade 7 TCAP practice test. Um, this is math. Question number 56. A flagpole casts a shadow that is 8 feet long. A 6 foot tall man casts a shadow that is 5 feet in long, as shown. What is the height of the flagpole? So what we know is that we have a man and we have a shadow. That seems like two things to me. We also have six feet, eight feet, and five feet. Well, huh, that's three numbers. And we want this other value, so we're looking for the fourth number. Anytime I see two things, three numbers, and I'm looking for the fourth number, it's the two, three, fourth situation. So we're just going to set up a proportion here. So I'm going to set up a proportion. I need to set up uh, one for each thing. So I've got the man, and I've got the fla a shadow for the flagpole. Sorry about that. So flagpole. So let's set up my ratio or my fraction for the man. Now the man is six feet tall. And I'm going to skip the feet here, even though you should probably write the units on your paper. And then he has a five foot shadow. Now the issue here is to really make sure you mark down the word shadow and the word tall. That way you know where to put that eight, because that's really going to matter here in a second. This is my man ratio. On the other side, I have my flagpole ratio. Now the question says that the flagpole casts a shadow that is 8 feet long. So that 8 is going to go with shadow. Now you may remember my asylum reference. We always put like things on the same side of that line. So either they're upstairs or downstairs together. So in this case, shadow is on the bottom here. So I'm going to put the 8 foot shadow of the flagpole on the bottom. So I'm just put my x there or whatever value h should probably go there. So let's put it that way. It's easier to follow where the heck I'm going with all this. I'm going to put the h right there. Uh, now I'm going to do cross multiply and divide or cross products. So I multiply the numbers that are across from each other. So I have 6 times 8 on one side. And then I have 5 times h on the other. Uh, 6 times 8 is 48. And then I'm going to divide by 5. And if you have your handy dandy calculator there, or you could just do it, I mean, whatever. Uh, 48 divided by 5, uh, you'll come out, if you just do a decimal answer, it's 9.6. Now I need to convert that into um, uh, fraction form, so you may have to hit second fraction decimal or something, and you'll end up getting 9 and 3 fifths feet. So I can say with pretty good confidence anyway, assuming the sun's in the same place when I do all my measurements, that the value of the height of the flagpole is 9 and 3 fifths feet. So my answer choice is F.